straight people of reddit. What's the most homosexual situation you've found yourself in? Was sharing a bed with a friend while on a university networking trip. Middle of the night he grabs my waist from behind. I wake up and try to squirm away. He is stronger than me and I can't break free. I'm his unwilling little spoon. I finally pry his hands off and fall off the far side of the bed. I stand up and look at him and it starts to make sense. He has now grabbed all the blankets and is hugging them against his body and mumbling. He's just doing weird shit in his sleep. Waited till he chilled out and then wrestled some blankets back and went back to sleep. No big deal. But in the moment I felt like I was about to lose my anal virginity. The good I'll go for it and if it doesn't work pretend to be a sleep trick. I'm a heavy sleeper and I usually use a hug pillow so when I slept over at my cousin's I woke up once to you beach wtf as he's like pushing my face away while I had a deep grip on him. Good times. I kissed a dude in a hot tub. He was my buddy and he's gay and everyone said I wouldn't. Well I showed them. Edit. Grit. One of my top comments is this. Go on. That led to other things and long story. Short, I ended up getting preggers with an ass baby. My old roommate used to try to pull me into having a threesome with her and her boyfriend but I was not attracted to either of them so I would decline. Some days she would trick me into going into a bedroom, saying she needs help with homework, and then lock the door and start undressing. But the weirdest was when I was doing work in my room and she walked in and laid on my bed naked without even saying a word just spread eagle. It was too awkward for me I just walked out of the room and later I cleaned my sheets. WTF. That's incredibly creepy. Especially where she used to try to hijack the room and start taking her clothes off. WTF does these things? That's a sexual violation right there. If it isn't. IDK how the laws in what I presume is America work. But it's extremely disrespectful. During a barracks check for drugs the room across from me was pretty much kicked into. I got to witness my CEO's face as he saw two dudes going at it like the end of the world. I think some of my hearing loss can be attributed to how loud the CEO screamed. What in the ducking hell are you doing? There was a lot of gay chicken in the military. But that time left the most vivid image. I think at the point it's not gay chicken anymore. It's just gay. What's gay chicken? Okay. Backstory. Have a friend named Adam. We all knew Adam was gay before he came out. So. Adam comes out and we are all like duh. So. Adam wants to go to a gay bar. But is completely anxious about it. I not anyone in Adam's friend group have been to a gay bar either. I have a friend Lori who is also gay. Lori and Adam don't know each other. So I introduce them and the three of us wind up heading to a club called Pegasus. I am there as designated driver and an escape route should Adam decide he has to leave. So. I am basically hanging out at the bar. Talking to the bartenders. After we get through the way just straight and being vouched for by Lori to the lesbians that I wasn't trolling for a three way I'm having a decent time. Except there is one guy. Aggressive as all hell. Wouldn't leave me alone. Like. I totally get why women get freaked out in these situations. I'm a big dude. And I was getting a little freaked out. More pissed off. But. So anyway. Thus dude is not letting up. I go from no thanks to go the duck away or I will punch your teeth in. Guy leaves. Anyway. A couple of people have found out why I was there and think it's great. Free drinks, non-alcohol, for me from plenty of people. Then Mr. Aggressive comes back and apologized and hands me a drink. Before I can't take a sip this giant black woman of a transvestite grabs the drink and dumps it out on the floor and grabs the dude and tells the bartender she saw MR. Aggressive spike my drink. Bouncers show up. Guy is tossed onto the street. I thank the lady. And offer to buy her a drink. Sugar I'd rather have a dance was her response. So. What the hell. We danced for a bit. Hands off. She was a perfect gentleman. Shortly after Adam decided it was time to go. So we rounded up Laurie and headed out. Chloe. Wherever you are. Thanks again. You can always count on a queen. 
That's what I've learned from this thread so far. Being deployed in the military. Yep. The only time I've been chased around a room by three dudes waving their cokes around through their pants zippers was in basic. We were just reservists too so I don't know what was up with that. Yay. My marine friends are gayer than my gay friends by far. The army. You'll find the straightest gay guys and the gayest straight guys. Most of the top posts in this thread are from veterans. As a vet myself I'm not the least bit surprised. Now which one of you dong lickers wants to play hide the pickle? I'm more of a who's in my mouth kinda guy. Let me preface. I am a straight male. I was dating a stripper. A female. I decided I wanted to try stripping. We did the research. The only way to make money is to dance for dudes. I call my gay friend. He finds out the best place within driving distance. I check the website. That Wednesday is amateur night. A contest with 300 bucks for first place. I get my gay friend to take me down there. We walk in. There are dongs everywhere. On the bar are 3 naked men with dongs out in your face. Around the room are about 12 naked dancers and gay porn on every TV. Right now I am in shock. So we just stand around for a while. I had come to scope it out. Next month. Contest. They announce the contest and ask all the participants to go backstage. I didn't go. Then about 10 dudes around me. They're like aren't you doing the contest? We've been e excited to see you. They basically push me into the prep room. No here is where it gets gay. The prep room is 7 guys getting ready for the contest. I am number 8. 5 guys are naked near me and all jerking off. 2 guys are blowing each other back and forth. Trying to get hard for the contest. I am not interested in getting hard. Then it's my turn. I go out and they play a song and I get naked and dance. There is a line of people with dollars to give me. My friend comes up and tips me. I win the contest. Made 460 in under an hour. Also took the job when they offered. Eventually I was jerking off before sets in that same room. Near gay men who also were jerking off. Here is where it gets gay. It sounded pretty gay before that tbh. It got mega gay though. Man I met at a wedding in London wanted to show 15 year old me his recording studio. You damn fool. You could have been the next Bieber. Seems like he dodged two bullets at once there. Made eye contact with another guy while eating a banana once. Reminds me of this guy who once told me about one of the rules in his bro code, specifically about how to eat a banana. Never close your eyes. Never make eye contact. Fast bites, don't put it in your mouth for more than one second. Small bites, don't take bites longer than 4cm. Edit. The comment chain is bananas. Now I get it why they're Reddit's favorite measuring device. Thanks for sharing your hilarious experiences and insights. You're missing one big point. Bring the banana to your mouth. Don't bring mouth to banana. I got job to act in an ad for Big Ice Company. I was dressed in full yellow outfit, even socks, and put on yellow sunglasses. I wouldn't mind that but then the director told me to lay on the floor, green screen, in some sexy football away and gave me a banana to eat it in one really slow and sexual way. Right when I finished recording the scene other actors told me that this was gayest thing they ever witnessed. So yay. I am now known as a yellow guy eating the banana on TV ad which is kinda popular at the moment. I guess I am gonna have to post the link after all. Rip reddit account. Bottom left one. Yauta be link. You look fine to me. Plus. The chick bathing behind the curtain nullifies any gayness. I'm gay but I went out with a group of friends once that included a straight guy. He ended the night at a gay club throwing up in a doorless bathroom stall with an unfamiliar drag queen holding his glasses and patting his back. So that would probably be his answer. AWW. You can always count on a queen to have your back. That reminds me of a time when a friend who went to a gay nightclub with me asked me to go to the men's room with him and watch his back since the stalls were doorless. He was asking the fox to guard the hen house. I guarantee there was no one in that joint who wanted his dong half as bad as I did. 
hilariously. He was safe from being hit on as, being a clothes horse who used to model, he gave the appearance of being both gay and out of most guys league. Thus warding off pickup attempts. My friend Rene and I were going to visit one of our gay friends, and his boyfriend, from work at their new house. There was a snowstorm. And Rene couldn't go. She didn't trust her car in the snow. So I ended up going alone and hanging out with these two guys and their friend Mike. Unbeknownst to both Rene and I. The gay couple was trying to set me up with Mike. They were not aware that Rene and I had been sleeping together on the DL for 3 months because Rene was telling people I was gay so that we wouldn't get in trouble with HR at work. HR frowned on office relationships. Edit for clarity TL. DR. Girl I hooked up with told friends I was gay so no one knew we were hooking up. Gay friends tried to set me up with their gay friend. Wait. The girl you were sleeping with set you up on a blind date? No. We were just going to hang out with our friend and his boyfriend. They brought their friend because the girl I was sleeping with was telling people that I was gay in an attempt to hide our not exactly HR approved office romance. She and I dated for a while. But eventually broke up after a couple of years. Some girl tried to have sex with me in a club. I stopped when she got my titty out. Gosh damn it. You watch your ducking mouth. This is my roommate's story not mine. But it's too damn funny not to tell. He heads down to Atlantic City for the weekend with some friends. Hoping to just hang out. Gamble. And drink. Along with him are two guys he's good friends with works with. Guy A is openly gay. And in a committed relationship. Guy B is straight and single. As the first night goes on. They all get progressively drunker. And are actually winning a lot of money at the tables. Guy A goes up to his room to call his boyfriend. Leaving my friend alone with Guy B. Guy B starts sobbing the minute Guy A leaves the room. Wailing to my roommate that he's gay. And has secretly been in love with Guy A since the moment he first met him. We're talking ugly crying. The kind where everyone in the room ignores you because it's too hard to watch. So my roommate. Unable to deal with this emotional outburst. Starts chugging drinks hoping ITL help. Guy A comes back from the room hysterically crying because his boyfriend broke up with him over the phone. So now both men are crying on opposite sides of the room because they are ashamed to have the other see them crying. Meanwhile they keep crying to my roommate. And he's the neutral third party. Eventually Guy B figures out Guy A is now single. And makes his move. He drags my roommate with him as support. And confronts Guy A. He admits his love. And asks him if they can be together. Guy A rejects him. And they both cry with renewed intensity. They all continue to drink. And both Guy R and Guy B get so drunk and depressed they desperately ask my roommate if he would have sex with them because he's such a nice guy. That was an event from start to finish. This should have been the hangover part 3. Aimed at me. A dude at a party asked if he could suck my dong. I said no. He walked off. Just in general. I worked at my uncle's gay bar for a few months. It was awesome. Why was it awesome? Gay men like to drink and tip. Australian all boys school. Pretty damn good at playing gay chicken. Rooster. Name it. There was one time my friend and I were side stage during a production of West Side Story. During the scene where Tony and Maria meet for the first time. He and I turn to each other and start mouthing their lines. Then the dialogue ends and they're meant to kiss. Sure enough. We both lean in slowly. I wasn't backing down. I want to see how far this can go. By this point. Most people side stage and even on stage have noticed. Extras. Thankfully. And are trying as hard as they can not to lose their shit and break character. I'm pretty sure I would have gone all the way had he not gone for an Eskimo kiss, nose on nose. I think he knows I would've. Given he saw me kiss another guy at an 18th. It was a joint production with the nearby girls school. So we were the only gay boys. This is ducking hilarious. I can imagine them trying not to laugh on stage. Best comment of the day. The gayest thing I've ever done. 
My sister and her fmk were talking hypothetically about what they'd do if they broke up. The fmk knows just how much my entire family loves him, so joke that if my sister broke up with him, he'd just move in with us instead. Without thinking, I turned to him and said put it this way, if my sister doesn't marry you, then I will. He just laughed the comment off, but I could practically hear his inner monologue asking whether or not I'd meant it. Kinda awkward.